Hello, this is Joe Hoyle from Richmond, Virginia. Today we're talking to you about partnerships, proprietorships, and corporations. I've taught for a long time in college, and I have met a lot of college students who really wanted to eventually start their own business. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. I have run businesses, in fact, I've sold businesses. I think it's good to go out and start your own business. But if you're gonna start a business, it's good to understand the difference in the legal formats. You have to have a legal format, and I think it's a wise idea to think about what those legal formats are. And these are all set by the state government that you operate in. So if you're in Nevada or Missouri or Montana, these may vary just a little bit based upon your state laws. The three major types of businesses are proprietorships, partnerships, and corporations. Now in this video problem, your roommate's parents own ice cream stores in Florida. And they used to be a business that was operated as a partnership. And then somewhere along the way, they changed into a corporation. And your roommate is not certain why they made this change. Your roommate's not certain especially because the roommate has heard that corporations have what's called double taxation. And that seems to be taking money away from the business. So the roommate's not certain why they ever went from being a partnership to being a corporation. Now let's look first at proprietorships and partnerships because they're kind of linked together. A partnership, a proprietorship, is a business where there is no separation legally between the business and its owners. Basically, the business and the owners are considered to be one and the same. So if you're dealing with a business that's a partnership, you're basically dealing with the owners. If you're dealing with a business that's a proprietorship, you're basically dealing with the owner. A proprietorship has one owner. A partnership has more than one owner, can have any number. Now the advantages of those businesses are pretty simple. They're very easy to start. If you and a friend simply want to start a business where you make donuts and sell them in the dorm, that can be a partnership just by the agreement because there's no difference between the business and the ownership. Now there are problems with that, and that's probably why your roommate's parents switched from being a partnership to being a corporation. One of the major problems is what we call unlimited liability. If the partnership does something and creates a huge liability, it is a liability of the owners, not just of the business. If your roommate's parents on an ice cream store, you know what they worry about. They worry that someone will get sick off the ice cream by accident. It can happen. It's a restaurant type of, type of operation. That kind of thing can happen. And they're worried that someone will get sick and sue the business. And when they sue the business, if it's a partnership, they're really suing the owners, which is the parents. And the parents could lose everything. You have unlimited liability. So if you and some one of your friends start selling donuts, do remember that if someone gets sick and happens to sue the business, they're really suing you. And that is part of owning a proprietorship or a partnership. You have an incredible amount of risk if anything goes wrong. On the other hand, legally, a corporation is a completely separate entity from its owners. If you simply envision business and then a separation and ownership, that's a corporation. A corporation has to be formed by the state government. It doesn't have to be the state government in which you operate, but it usually is. You go to the state, you file all the necessary forms, and once everything is done properly, the state forms a corporation with you or whoever else as the owners. So a proprietorship and a partnership is simply the owners, whereas a corporation is a business 
separate and apart from the ownership. So the roommate's parents, if by some chance, once they become incorporated, they happen to make a customer sick who sues the business, that person can only sue the business. The person has legal limited restrictions to keep away from the owners. That separation protects the owners. Now the owners can lose their investment, but under normal circumstances, you cannot lose more than your investment. You have a limited liability because of the separation of the business from the owners. So if you're not worried about being sued or about liabilities, proprietorships and partnerships are fine. If you're worried about the liability, then corporations become a much better way to organize the business. In addition, it's much easier to sell the ownership of a corporation than it is to sell the ownership of a proprietorship or partnership. So often what you worry about is if you're going to eventually sell the business or if you want more owners. Again, a corporation turns out to be a better form of business. But in this problem, your roommate asks about a specific issue, and that is double taxation. And your roommate mentions that her parents didn't like the double taxation. How does that work? Well, in a partnership, the money that's earned is taxed when it comes to the partnership. It is taxed. It's taxed to the owners right then. So if you and I owned a partnership and we made $10,000, then you and I would pay the tax on that $10,000. If the business ever gives us the money, we've already paid the tax on it. We don't have to pay the tax again. In a proprietorship, in a partnership, there's only one taxation. The money is taxed when it is first earned. In a corporation, though, you have a different arrangement because of that separation between the business and the owners. When the business earns money, the business pays the tax has to. So there's one taxation. If the business then pays a dividend to the owners, that dividend is taxed again. Now many people argue that dividend is simply the earnings that have already been taxed once that's now being passed from the company to the owner, that there is not a new earning process that the earnings were, were earned and taxed and then handed off to the owners and shouldn't be taxed again. But in the United States, dividends are taxed. Now they're taxed at a lower tax rate, but they are taxed that second time. So your roommate's parents, what they're arguing about is that their business pays a tax and then when the business gives them a dividend, it's taxed again. And their argument is the same income is being taxed twice and not once. Now that's an argument that has raged since I was in college. And it will probably rage again for another 40 years. But that's one of the downsides of corporations. Yes, they have limited liability. And yes, you can more easily transfer ownership. But they also have the income taxed twice once when earned, and once when handed off as a dividend to the owners. So the cost of taxation is more in a corporation than it is in a proprietorship or a partnership. Now, again, to say as I started, many college students want to form businesses. I think that's great, but you do need to understand that you can be a partnership, a proprietorship, or a corporation and they both have some very interesting advantages and some very interesting disadvantages. Have a great day. Keep up the work.